league as well. As And I feel like it's just one of the best things to see him here. But we're going to get to these player intros. I'm going to send it to the stage with Mr. Kenny, the old Pocky champion, Omega. <laughs> Introducing first. <laughs> You guys know him, you guys love him. He is one of my greatest friends, and he's fist bumped me on many of an occasion. You know him as Murderface. You know him as probably one of the greatest fighting game players of all time. Let's give it up, everyone, for Tokido! Tall, slender, GQ, the model of men everywhere. He is the poster boy for what all video game players should be. You know him as the Premier Urian. You know him as the Emperor of Pain. I give you Nemo! I was gonna say, when Nemo walks out there, we were just talking about this. You know how he plays Zirian? I feel like if if there was an eruption that happens when, when Nemo's on stage, instead of like the uniform, he just has like a suit on underneath. <laughs> he just has a suit. You know? It's <laughs> the reverse. He comes out in the banana hammock and then goes. And to then the he suit. gets fully clothed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's get serious for a minute. We do have Tokido going up against Nemo. Steve, what can we expect from this matchup? I mean, I feel like it's one of these matchups that's gonna be super vital, right? Um, it's really scary to fight Tokido because he's very aware, he's very in tune with how to stop down, mm -hmm. shut down most playstyles and characters. However, Nemo is a very different kind of player, and his Urian is super super active, moves right, around yeah. a lot, likes to use that violent knee drop to move around the stage. I'm interested to see what the interaction is going to be between that, because I feel like Tokido's not going to let him get away with it, but that sure. pressure is going to be substantial. Characters already locked in, and That's here right. we go, guys. It is going to be Tokido versus Nemo. First match, top eight, Capcom Cup 2019. Let me hear it out there, guys. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, and you mentioned it before, Tokido being one of the scariest players around, but when it comes to Nemo, it's a different kind of fear. Yeah. You mentioned how he likes to use the violent knee drops. On top of his movement in general, it's been so hard to track this man down and deter him from getting his main gameplay, which is to get in your face and destroy the place. And he has crazy setups with Yuri. I mean, I feel like it's one of those things he can play very solid fundamentally, slow you down, but the minute he gets triggered, this game can end in literally oh, yeah. one guess. A lot of chances, a lot of times you get two guesses, but you get one guess with Nemo, I feel like, in a lot of situations. It's because he's so good at putting that pressure on. Here we go. To start things off at the top eight, Tokido versus Nemo, Akuma versus Yurian. Here we go. All right, starting to come off with the fireball war from Nemo, mostly from Nemo, actually. Tokido's just trying to close the gap. The snap kick, respect my space. I love this really up close fireball game. Typically, you don't see people play this up close fire game, fireball game like this, but both of these players are super comfortable doing so. Lightly still in favor of Nemo. That red that fireball was gets a big jump in for Tokido. Spins a little meter in the corner, really close to the stun. Ooh. And there it is, the tick throw not uh, successful, uh, but the uh. stun is. No meat. Side switch and the uppercut. Good amount of damage. One touch away, but Nemo, don't count him out yet. As long as he has feet trigger, he is absolutely a threat. Oh, wow. Beat out the fireball from Urian. That's going to be the first round. Game number one going to Tokido. That is actually pretty wild, Steve. He was also in feature, hence why he had so much durability on that fireball. Nemo just challenged him with a normal metallic sphere. Oh, crush. From just Furious to Furious, creating some space again. Nemo now checking the movement from Tokido in the corner, backdrop instead. Oh, nice. Uh, Wake up uh, the XDP. Nice, more like crazy, but still gets the job done. Low forward in the fireball in this corner, pressure's looking good. What oh, a punish. Wow. Jab this in the top two. Oh, standing strong straight. He's into it right now. Uh, so I didn't want to say it, oh, but the metallic spear to close out. Nemo keeps it really, really tight. One round apiece in his first game. You can see him mulling it over, thinking about it right now. 
It was quite an expensive deal, but you know, it's absolutely worth it when you take the round, especially against the likes of Tokido. Demon Flip in, trying to anti-air. Tokido barely getting away from that crouch fierce from them, though. Once again, back to that up close fireball game. Very much a, uh, an uncomfortable range, I feel like, to throw fireballs at, especially versus Tokido. Right. I mean, and if Urien has beaters, you gotta be even oh, more careful. The deal is made. Uh, no. Take the hand. Take my hand, oh. Tokido. Do it again. B skill. Here it comes, the violent emperor. Yo, I'm out. I'm out. He's like, yeah, that's cute. No, I heard what they said, but you gotta catch me first. Teleport back into the corner. Defensively, that was a perfect B trigger. I mean, I feel like Tokido wanted that exact exchange, and now he's fighting back Ooh. in the middle of the, in the screen with full resources at this point. You know what's a big deal? When Nemo's jumping at you, and there's no anti-airs involved, right? Tokido wasn't ready for the air approach, not ready for the throw Ooh. either, and that's the first game going towards Liquid Zone, Nemo. We heard Sejam say a little earlier about that that low forward. He was on. He was talking with you. He was like, that low four fireball confirmed from Tokido and that Akuma. I mean, I feel like you get to a certain point on the live bar and you're like, that's definitely not gonna kill me. I'm not gonna die from that range. And a lot of times you <laughs> still get smoked. You still gotta cook them on both sides, you know? But here we go, game number one, go on the Nemo. Metallic spear to control oh. And that's what I was talking about. That up close fireball pressure is very, very vital. It's scary to do so. I mean, even more so when you're fighting a character like Yuri and you don't have that much life. Like, oh, baits it out. That was so good. That like hit Tatsu, makes him react, gives him a hit, but the screen is in control for Tokido. Uh, uh, not quite stunned, but maybe a jump jab will do it. Going for the throw instead. Nice tag! And the jump cross up. Really getting Nemo. Uh, uh. Okay. Going for the damage. Oh, the little shimmy right there, and Tokido answers back. Always making these small adjustments in the game to take control. Full composure there from Tokido, as if the first game never happened. Already off to a great start in game two. Yeah. See, and this is what I was talking about. Now you see those fireballs kind of just disappear. No longer are they throwing them at their range, but the air fireball finds entrance, and I like the EX Demon Flip. That's going to get the corner for Tokido. Big time crush counter, crush counter and, and the, the stun. stun. Not a lot of scaling involved here. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Same jump setup. You saw the counter hit. Nice. Oh, 50-50 oh, wow. time. You know it's big. Give me a reset. I think he caught the back dash on that. Oh, EXDP. Oh, my days. I had to steal that F word. I'm sorry. Because I was about to say a bad word, and I know. But that was ridiculous. That was actually crazy. Man, I really had to stop myself from going ham right there. I flexed. Six you grabbed word. my arm, and I flexed immediately, yeah, see, Steve. I'm trying I went to, be to the better. gym this week. I'm trying They're to not be better me. about this, okay? Man, the back and forth right there between those two. Yeah, the mental awareness overall from Chiquito was absolutely stellar. Knowing that the Aegis was there, he opted to go for EX uppercut for that extra vulnerability, granting him that game, and Chiquito firing right back. And, and look now, now that neutral game wall going more to pokes, knockdowns, not so important. Woo! Oh, trying to go for the anti-air, not gonna work out. Jab trying to go for the tick throw, Nemo says no go. A beautiful display of versatility from both players so far. No, sir. Get out my skies. And that's why you want to be careful. If he has trigger on deck, jumping after those fireballs could be dangerous. Good green. Use the close mirror and sends out both of the uh -oh. triggers. Oh, poor throw. He's going to get one more. He goes for the Oki. Tokido says, I'm not afraid, and hits a button anyway after the recovery. Nemo often going to go for the reset. You know, I think he had enough meter to possibly go for the kill, but I guess the angle is a little off to continue the combat. I don't blame him though. You know, better safe than sorry, but even still. Two so throws. He contested after that, by the way. Crouch, strong. Dashed plus up. three. A slight delay. Oh, big pun. Uh. Set him down. Oh, the ball. Wake up, you knew it was oh. coming. And so did Tokido. Uh, and that's uh, gonna uh, be. No, I thought it was gonna Jump be short. short. Oh, oh and, though, and you can see it piling up, man. Being put in those situations versus Akuma is so scary. We've seen the fireball pressure in the corner. We've seen how much damage you get from those interactions. Even being aware to switch sides at a moment's notice the minute he gets that hit. So it's really important that he's aware. Round one. Game number three. Immediately Point. into it. Nemo completely unfazed, but he is down one full game, so he has to make it happen here if he wants to survive. The big time demon flip kick. Ugh. Look at how he's using that range. And when I was talking about that fireball game, that's exactly what I was talking about. That target streak that he's using right there, that stand medium punch, good tools to be used right there at that range that Akuma likes to be in. You used it so well. Yeah, again, you mentioned it, that stand strong, but only ended it with a low forward because a little bit too far off the mark. Ooh, Ooh snap kick. Check the loafers. Ducks uh, under the head, but... Uh, uh, Coles. Uh, that was good. 
He is cherry snackle, man. That was good. That was all yipes. <laughs> Man, that's such a far normal, too. That jump medium kick to keep yeah. Tokido honest. That's a lot of range. And the OG animation at that. There's a four throw. Nemo still in the game. Please do not count him out. His V trigger conversions have not been the best. However, they've still netted with games in this set so far. Which can, this says a lot if you're fighting Tokido. An Evo champion. Oh. Evo Omega said it. One of the best in the world. He's still in control right now. He's played every fighting game under the sun. He definitely is one of the best fighting there. Go for it. Now with Fighter. Oh! Ugh. The snap on the fear. Speaking of fears, firing right back with the target combo. Standing knee, crouching medium punch, clips him out of the air. Here's that pressure I was talking about in the air. Oh, wow, hit, hit by the second hit of the string. Full conversion on the V-Trigger. And this is one of the instances I was talking about. The best damage we've seen so far from Nemo in this set using oh, V-Trigger. it's coming back to you. Oh, uses the He knew he had he the answer. He, know? he studied for the SATs, baby. He had all the answers, the Steve. Prep. The prep, the SAT prep from Tokido. I can't believe you. You hit him with a multiple choice. I need four. He wrote the answer in all of the above. Okay. Yeah, we accept that. All the above and this. That's right. Uh, uh, uh. Master's degree. <laughs> Expending a bunch of meter to keep this presence known in the corner. Tokido on set point right now. And stun is definitely becoming a fact. Okay, side, side switch. switch. Yes. Tatsu again for that corner control. And the stun coming. And the stun is there. You already know it. Tokido is moving on over Nemo. The work that Tokyo puts in, man. He's looking like prep time Batman out there. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe he already knew what the next move was gonna be. He's like, you think this Air EX Violet knee drop is gonna work? EX Fireball, hold that bad boy. Tokido showing why he's one of the best doing it. I mean, no no one out there expects oh, yeah. anything less from Tokido. I mean, he's an EVO champion for a reason. He's one of those guys we look at to take the tournament, and I'm telling you right now, he's probably in a, quite a few people's fantasy bracket. Oh, absolutely.